Hey guys, so we're going to find our Raspberry Pi on the network. We're going to find the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, and then we're going to connect to it remotely using SSH. Um, so we're not going to use VNC in this video today, so no remote desktop, but we're going to connect to it with SSH. So um, first thing you might want to do, um, this is not what I would do first to, to find the IP of the uh, Raspberry Pi. Well, the very first thing you want to make sure you is that you're on the same network. So I'm connected to TreeFrog 5G. That's the same network that my Raspberry Pi is on. Now if I were connected to a different AP or wired or something other than what my Raspberry Pi is connected to, I won't see it. So just make sure you're on the right network, otherwise you'll have none of this will work. All right, so one thing you can do is you can say IP-A, or, or rather, sorry, ARP-A, and this is going to give you all of the MAC addresses and IP address mappings on your local network. So it's basically your ARP cache. And off the top of my head, I happen to know this is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, but basically you would have to try each of these to identify which is your Pi. Um, so based on this output, but this is my, this gives you everything connected to your, to your network right now. And uh, th this one is my Pi right here. But um, if you don't want to do that, there are other, the, this is not the first thing that I would do. Um, I would use nmap to, to find it. Oh yeah, and if you don't have the ARP command, like I don't on this version of Ubuntu, you can install it, you can install net tools, and the, there's a newer equivalent to this tool, but you can say sudo apt install net-tools, and you're gonna get the ARP tool. So um, after that, you want to, um, we're gonna use nmap, but before we use nmap, we need to see what network we're on. So we can say IPA, and that shows us, all right, so our wireless network that we're connected to, our IP address is 192.168.0.110, and that's pretty standard for a network with DHCP. So we just need to know the network. So we know our host is 110. Um, so uh, let, let's see here. We, we could also do ifconfig, ifconfig-a, and that also gives us the same output. There's, there's our IP address. I actually think this is easier output to read, and you get the ifconfig command if you install net tools. Now that used to be standard on all Linux distributions, um, not, not so much anymore. They are replacing it with um, the newer net tools, so you, you're gonna use the ipa command. So anyways, moving right along here, pop open, um, well, all right, so let's start just running. We're going to run nmap from the command line. Now, um, notice our IP was, this is our IP, so we want to search this network, right? So um, to search this network, we're going to run nmap first from the command line, and then we're going to run run it with a GUI called zenmap. So um, we're basically going to run through the whole network from uh, end to the beginning. So we're going to, th this is the network, and it's going to start from, you know, the last IP to number one. So let, let's try running this command real quick right now. So nmap our network. So paste that in and um, I am not getting anything. So that that's unfortunate. Um, anyways, let, let's bring up uh, zenmap. And it's I'm not running it as root, so I'm gonna be missing some things, but that's okay. So I'm gonna paste that same command in here and let's see how this works for us. So one address scanned in. All right, so yeah, it looks like we, we have to, I, I was specifying that in the wrong order. You can't go from end to beginning. You have to go from beginning to end. So, you know, start at one and go to 255. 
So, so put your network and then the, the host range. So this first part is your network and then this is your host range. So we run nmap and that scans our whole network. This is a little bit nicer because you can see host names. So you can see like this is the gateway, which is not hard to guess because it's number one. And we can see this host is named Pikachu. So it did some host resolution. That's the laptop I'm on right now. Um, and the host that our Raspberry Pi, it's still not telling us that it's a Pi, but that, that's this one right here at the bottom. But that narrows it down a little bit more. Um, so let's, let's paste the same command, copy it, and uh, paste it right in here. So paste that in there and hit scan. So we, we, we did the scan from the command line and now we're, we're running it from the, uh, it takes a little bit longer when it's actually working. But yeah, run, run it and there we go. There's our output. And this is our Raspberry Pi here. Now, if we didn't know that already, we would probably be checking this IP and these two IPs in addition to this one. But this is the one, this is actually our IP. We could rule out the gateway and our laptop, obviously. So um, that's how you find your Raspberry Pi on the network, um, assuming you're running Linux. We're, we're gonna do the same tutorial for Windows, Mac OS, and Android also. So um, we can kill this for now. And um, so let, let, let's jump over here to, um, yeah, and this, this is my little write-up that I put. Um, check the link in the description. The link in the description is actually gonna point to this site right here. And um, th this is the write-up I did on, um, on how to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So probably some useful commands. Um, there's not a whole lot here. It's pretty quick and easy. But um, yeah, let's minimize that for now. So a couple other things to mention. All right, so let's say if you didn't happen to have nmap installed already, you can run, normally you can just run sudo apt install nmap, and then zenmap, you can, the GUI, you can install with sudo apt install zenmap. Once those are in, um, and I had trouble installing zenmap on Ubuntu 20.04, so I basically had to pull it down because they, they removed it from the, from the repository since it relies on Python 2. So, um, I had to pull it down from the old repo. I pulled down Python 2 and ZenMap using these commands. Then I did a, I did an apt install of both of these packages that were in my directory. Now, don't just run this command with the wildcard if you happen to have other packages in your, in your repository. Um, and then run, uh, yeah. So that's it. That was this is how I did install Net Tools. And. Um, yeah, so, so that's, that's pretty much everything related to ZenMap and finding your Raspberry Pi. Now we're gonna connect to it over the network. And you'll see I'm actually already connected to my Raspberry Pi over here. I did an SSH Pi, and I'm still using the Pi user. So Pi at IP address. And this is the IP address that we found before. And the first time you connect, it's gonna say, hey, we don't recognize this host. Um, so you're gonna have to say yes, if it's the first time connecting. If it's not the first time, then something strange is going on. Uh, if it doesn't recognize it after the first time you've connected, first time you connect, it's gonna say, hey, we don't recognize the fingerprint. Sure, you wanna continue. You know it's the first time you've connected, so just say yes. And it's gonna ask for your password, put in your password, and you are connected to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna exit out of this and just show you how you uh, connect to the Raspberry Pi. So let's say I'm out of here. Now, this, I'm logged in on my desktop. Um, so you just run SSH and then username at IP address. And this is how you SSH to your Pi. So SSH to it, type in your password. Boom, and there we go. We're logged into our Raspberry Pi. So yeah, running Raspbian, that's our, this is us logged into our Raspberry Pi. So that is as easy as it, it is to connect to your Pi from, from Linux. So I'm running Ubuntu Linux to connect to my Pi. And um, I'm gonna show you also how to do this on Android, iOS, and um, also Windows and Mac OS. So I'm gonna have all of this stuff covered in the video. So um, I'm 
probably, I may make this a video by itself, but I'm definitely going to also have a video where I show you um, all of those other operating systems and I'm gonna probably combine them all into one video also. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any comments, criticisms, questions, whatever you wanna tell me, anything you wanna ask, just leave a comment down below. Um, Hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Um, hit the little bell icon if you want an alert anytime I make a new video. So it'll alert you when I publish new videos. We're going to see a lot, lot more content like this coming up. And a, a lot of other uh, really interesting tech content, whether it be servers, code, or whatever else. So stay tuned for that. And um, as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And we'll see you next time.